let us look at another example of linear programming model. Here we already have the linear programming equations given to us. The objective function is to maximize p where p is equal to 10x plus 20y and the constraints are 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6 4x plus y is greater than or equal to 4 and x and y should be greater than or equal to 0. Now to find the solution to this linear programming model first we'll plot the constraints which are 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6 and 4x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. Now since x and y should be greater than or equal to 0 we will use the first quadrant of the graph to plot these equations. Now to plot the constraints it would be easy if we drop the inequality signs so we get equations 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 and 4x plus y is equal to 4. Now to plot these two lines if we can find two points on these lines then it will become very easy to plot these two lines. Now the easiest two points would be the x and y intercept that these lines make. So we can find the x intercept by putting the value of y as 0 because on x axis each and every point has a value of y as 0 and similarly we can find the value of y intercept by putting the value of x as 0. So let us find the x and y intercepts for these two lines. So in the first equation let's put x as equal to 0. So then our equation becomes 0 plus 3y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 6 by 3 which is equal to 2. So this is the value of y. Now again if we put y as 0 in this equation we get 2x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 6 by 2 which is equal to 3. So the x intercept is 3 and the y intercept is 2. Similarly for the second equation let's put x is equal to 0 so we get 0 plus y is equal to 4 or y is equal to 4 and if we put y equals to 0 we get 4x plus 0 is equal to 4 or 4x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 4 divided by 4 which is equal to 1. So the y intercept for the second line is 4 and the x intercept is 1. So with this information let us plot these two lines on the graph. Now for the first line which is 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 the x intercept is at 3 and the y intercept is at 2. So let us draw that line. So this line represents 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Now the next line which is 4x plus y is equal to 4 has an x intercept at 1 and y intercept at 4. So let us draw that line. So 
So this line represents 4x plus y is equal to 4. Now the next step is to find the feasible solution region. So the first equation is 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. Now all the points on this red line represent 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. And all the points above this line will represent 2x plus 3y is greater than 6. So the feasible solution for this constraint is the area above the red line. Similarly for the other line which is 4x plus y is equal to 4 all the points on this line represent 4x plus y is equal to 4. However our inequality is 4x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. So all the points on the right hand side of this line will represent 4x plus y is greater than 4. So the feasible area for this constraint is here. So if we take the common area feasible for both these equations then that will be the region on the right hand side of the edges O, A and B. So all the points, all the values of x and y which are above O, A, B will satisfy both the constraints. Now this is the feasible solution region. However, our objective is to find an optimal solution so that we can maximize P which is equal to 10x plus 20y. So the first method says that we have to first find the gradient or the slope of this line and then we will draw a series of lines parallel to the objective function line in order to find the point which can give us the optimal solution. So let us first find the slope of this line. So we have P is equal to 10x plus 20y. Now we have to convert this in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So we'll have 20y on one side and bring the remaining on the other side. And then we'll divide each of the numbers by 20. So we get slope of the objective function line as minus 1 by 2. Now with this slope what we need to do is draw a family of parallel lines to each other. Now since the objective in this example is to maximize P once we start drawing the objective function lines and move away from the origin, the line farthest from the origin touching the feasible solution region will represent the highest profit. So let's try doing that. Suppose this is our first objective function line. This is the second one. This is the third. This will be fourth. This will be fifth. And so on. Now since the 
feasible solution region has no upper limit there is no such point where we can say that this point is the farthest edge of the feasible solution region from the origin what this means is that the value of the decision variables that is x and y and thereby the value of p can keep on increasing to infinity without violating the feasibility condition or without violating the constraints what that means is that the solution to such an example is unbounded